everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Joviana De Jesus, and if you're not, thank you so much for coming back. Today we're gonna to film this look right here. I felt inspired by the grunginess, a dark brown smoky eye, the vampy lip. I don't think I've done a look like this on myself in a while just because I've been focused on other things, but I liked it. Um, I actually am filming this intro a few hours late just because I was trying to get ready for work this morning. Went off, did a quick shift at Sephora, and then came back and realized I didn't film an intro. So this is the intro. If you like the look and you want to learn how I did it, then just keep on watching. All right, so we're gonna get started on this grungy look. I've done my brows off camera. So now let me zoom you in so that we can get started on the eyes. Okay, zoomed in. Um, today for the eyes, we are going to use a new palette. Ooh. So we're playing with the Urban Decay Born to Run Eyeshadow Palette, and I thought it was perfect just because it's got a good mix of mattes, lots of really pretty shimmers, um, but most of all it's got some really good transition shades that I feel like we can play with for today's look. And um, as always, we are going to prep with our Urban Decay Primer Potion. Apply that all over the lid. That, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, my loose powder and a fluffy brush and we're going to set all that. This is just going to help us work, give us like a nice smooth base underneath so that we can work all the colors in. first color that we are going to go into is going to be this shade right here. It's called Riff. The perfect transition shade. And I'm going to take that on a nice fluffy blending brush. This one is by Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Collection, JH30, and it's just a nice fluffy brush. I'm going to take Riff and we're going to work that in to the crease area. I'm going to keep this right above the lid because when we blow out those darker colors, I want to make sure that they blow out smooth. This is going to be a fairly simple look just because it's, it's grungy and it's not meant to be super clean, yet we want a flawless transition, so it's just always fun to do these kind of looks just because you can get away with a lot. Just blending that all over, counterclockwise. Once we've got that color on and blended in, we are going to move on and we are going to use lost it. We're going to use Baja right here and Baja is just going to help us create some depth before we put on that darker shade and I'm using the Jaclyn Hill JH35 brush. And this is again a blending brush, it's just we're going down in size so we're trying to be a little more targeted. We're going to work those right here right underneath that color. Okay, and now for the start of the show, we are going to take this guy here, which is punk, and we are going to put that on all over our lid. And for punk, I want like a flat brush, but yeah, I don't want it to be too flat. So I'm taking the JH33, which is literally exactly that. It's a flat brush, but not super flat. So we can pack color to the lip. What I'm doing here is I am just patting and swiping onto the lid, focusing most of the color into the center of the lid, and then we'll blend out the corners in a second. Once you've got the majority of the color on the lid, then you can start to wiggle 
whatever's left over on your brush onto that crease area that's right in between the lid and the brow bone, just to soften that up and help the transition. And we're literally just wiggling back and forth windshield wiper motions. No additional product, guys. With darker shades, less is definitely more just because you don't really know how much is left on the brush. So just take your time with this, work it in slowly. Perfect, and I'm just tilting my head back a little so that I can make sure I'm bringing the brown up high enough. So you still see it when my eyes are open over a little over the crease area, but I want to make sure that it's blended. All right, nice and grungy, I like it. Um, so for this look, the only other thing I'm going to do on the top is just take a nice chunky brown eye pencil and we are just going to line to help deepen the look up a little bit. So I'm going to move on and apply some mascara. All right, so that wraps up the eyes for now. We're going to go ahead and move to complexion. So for complexion, we are going to prime first and foremost. Nothing new here for the T-zone. I'm going to use the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. That's going to help to fill in. Before I continue, let me zoom you out. All right, much better. So pour a little more on the center of the lip face, and then we are going to use, what are we gonna to use today? I'm gonna to mix. So I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Soft Light. It's not a primer, but we're gonna mix it into a primer. And I am going to use the Too Faced Hangover Primer. Let's do the Makeup Forever HD stick. So this is the Makeup Forever HD Y 375. Gonna give me coverage, but help me get this on quick. Once that's blended in, we can go ahead and use our concealer. Today for concealer, I am going to take the Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer in the shade Light. Light with a neutral undertone, and I'm gonna apply that just to all the areas where I really need concealing. Inner corner. Forehead, just to make sure that we're even. Down the bridge of the nose. Chin, and around this area here, just for some redness. Color correcting. The under eye area, however, I do want to be nice and bright, so what I'm going to do is take some of the Vanilla NARS Concealer, NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Vanilla, and I'm gonna put that right in here, just a little bit. To set under our eyes, I am going to use the MAC Mineralized Foundation and Loose Powder, and I am going to take that along with my Laura Mercier Puff, and we are going to set while all that is setting, we can go ahead and finish up our eyes. And so we're gonna go back into our Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And I'm going to take, where'd it go? Yeah, let's do this one just because I wanna blow it out a little. So we're gonna take the JH34, and it's a very um, thin brush, pointed, and I'm gonna use that to blow out my lower lash line. And we are going to go back and forth between Riff and Baja together and just apply that. Make sure to connect that lower lash line to the top. And don't be scared to bring that down too low um, with a look like this one. It's okay because it's a smoky, grungy look, so you want that blown out. And it also helps to hide any type of crease. 
creasing or folding that can happen underneath the eyelid. So it's also a really nice trick. Brush. I'm using JH39, which is just a fine pencil brush. I'm gonna take that rip, not rip the pump color, and we are going to just blend that out further and smudge it further. Push it off, let's just get some highlight in the inner corner. I'm gonna take Blaze in the palette, which is this guy right here. And we're gonna put that in our inner corner. Perfect. To finish off the eyes, we are going to apply some lower lash line mascara. And you know the deal, I love this Makeup Forever Excessive Lash. Once you try this brush out, I can guarantee you, you're not going back for anything else. I know it's excessive to have two different mascaras for top and bottom, but I don't know how many times I've messed up the look because I just, the barrel was too big. Under eyes done, so let's get back to the face. For the face, I'm gonna set the rest of my face and dust off the excess powder with the MAC. Uh, mineralized skin finish and golden medium. I'm gonna take a nice fluffy brush and we are going to just set the rest of our face. Body shade and light palette and we are going to contour and bronze with this. For the contouring, I'm gonna use my JH50. It's just a nice, um, dense, but thin brush that's small enough to get into the areas where I want it. And I'm gonna take the two shadows to shade this light shade and the darkest shade and we are going to contour. We're going to take a nice fluffy bronzing brush and I'm going to take the center shade here and we are going to bronze it up. Before is done, we are going to then move on to the highlight. I like to do contouring, bronzing, highlight and then I'll put the blush in between every makeup forever. Pro Light Fusion in the shade. I guess it's putting this Pro Light to highlighter. Um, but it's got like a golden tone to it, which I feel like will go perfect with our smoky grunginess. And this is the JH06. It's just a very thin but yet fluffy highlighting brush, or I like to use it for highlighting. And we're just gonna pop that right at the very top of our cheekbone and see it up to the forehead. Love that. I'm just gonna take a little breath. Beautiful. And then I also like to be a little bit in the center of the face, chin. Of the lip, and with my finger, we are going to do our nose. Today, because I want a little more, what I'm going to do is take my beauty blender or my Morphe sponge, sorry, and we are going to pack it in. And what happens with that is that the wetness of the sponge, the dampness of the sponge, helps to just bring out the color and the highlight factor, you see that? This Monica Dar Beauty Blush in Paradise Blush. And it's got this, I don't know. This is what it looks like. Just looks like it would work. Blush we are going to apply using a nice angle brush and dark lips as well. So I'm using the Huda Beauty Spice Girl lip and also the lip contour. Let's light our lips. Sweet Beauty lipsticks, they're like amazing. They last a long time, but the formula is super thin. Finished look, I'm just gonna get my hair on, or hair done, my hair is on, um, and I'll be right back. Um, I really hope you guys like it. I focused a lot on the skin. I did a little bit of dewiness, as well as, um, Full coverage. This foundation wears super well. This is about eight hours into my day, and I, I got so many compliments at work today. So I hope you guys like it.